Well, last night's Chandler School Board meeting was a complete disaster. It started out by them sending out an email to all Chandler parents at 6.11. So the board meeting was at seven o'clock. And at 6.11, they sent out this email saying that the district does not tolerate threats, intimidation, or violence of any kind. The district is appalled and saddened by the serious reports of threats and violence occurring within our community, particularly among our youth, and adds its voice to the collective chorus calling for an end of violence. Now, the district has jurisdiction and authority to take disciplinary action in response to any district student who engages in threatening behavior on campus, properties, school-sponsored events or activities, or when such misconduct interferes with the district's ability to maintain order. The district also refers suspected criminal behavior to local law enforcement. Even in matters where the district lacks jurisdiction and authority to take discipline action, the district continues to work and cooperate with its community partners, including parents, the Chandler, Gilbert, and Queen Creek Police Department and Maricopa County's office. Um, then it says, uh, the district stands with you all now engaging in addressing the issues. I'm gonna link to the video I did just maybe a week ago about the current law in the Ninth Circuit, which is where Arizona exists, that absolutely unequivocally allows a school to expel a student for sending death threats and guns to another student. So this kind of implied like we couldn't do anything, wrong. The school board, Chandler School Board, did not address teen violence or the notice of claim at their school board meeting. Whereas the Chandler City Council looked really, really good with the way that they were handling their meetings, the way that they were handling public comment, the school board could not have been worse. The school board told people to prepare three minute comments. People did prepare three minute comments. Then when they got there, they decided, no, it's gonna be two minutes. And when they got to their two minute mark, they cut the mic. So people in the middle of critically important, impassioned pleas, sharing information at a public meeting were literally and figuratively silenced. There are also reports that Frank Narducci, who is the superintendent, and let's talk for a minute about how this works. So the school board members, they are elected and many of them are up for re-election in December. Their term is done in December. The superintendent, is appointed by the, bar, by the board. So Frank Narducci, superintendent appointed by the board. Now, he had a meeting with Riggs Elementary School where he told the teachers that Ms. Lander, Jamie Lander would be placed on leave and an interim person would be in her place. Somebody asked what about this complaint and he completely and totally blew it off. He said, we get complaints all the time. We're a big district. None of this happened. We followed our protocol. Parents are so angry, so angry. When I made the video about the notice of claim, I thought that I was gonna have some people say, what a money grab, why are they suing? They just want the money. No, nobody said that, not a single person. In fact, they said they should sue them for 60 million. He should get every penny. Parents are appalled that schools are allowing the behavior that they are allowing. And the district's position is that we're fine. We're doing everything right. There's no problem here. Nowhere to look. We're not going to apologize. We're not going to take accountability. We're not going to take responsibility. We're not going to make changes. We're not even going to listen to you. Parents were yelling, telling the board they needed to fire Narducci, that Narducci needed to step down. The accusations leveled were really serious. Listen to this one. Madam President, Superintendent Narducci and members of the board, my name is Katie McPherson. I'm pretty sure you know me. I have four teenagers in CUSD. Six current, former, and 2023 graduates of Perry High School have been arrested for violent acts against other students off campus, spanning from 2022 to 2023. Perry is CUSD ground zero. In the 2020-2021 school year, these students had on-campus behavior investigated by the football coaches, Ms. Jennifer Burks, and Officer Jesse Allen. Although the findings resulted in a restraining order and proved that there was a nexus of bullying, harassment, and intimidation, and other violence that acts existed, the assailants remained students at Perry. These families have left Chandler Unified because of these
Ms. Shredder and your staffs in action. On April 28, 2023, I personally emailed your leadership team that this group was arrested, and one member stated he wanted to hurt people and kill police officers. Not one of you responded to my email. A common theme that the perpetrators of this violence have had are many student witnesses filming and recording. At the town hall, Dr. Aaron Fasto so eloquently stated, to witness is a verb. There is power in witness. This violence could only persist because the conditions and the environment allowed the violence to persist and was reinforced by bystanders. This pattern of silence and inaction echoes the silence that I and other Castile parents brought forward last year when seven female students were abused by a student, uh, by its teacher. There are two assistant superintendents in this room under investigation by the Arizona State Board of Education for seeing something and saying nothing. If we expect students to see something and say something, then you must do something. Our expectation of our A-plus school... Chandler School Board has had an opportunity to watch all of these other organizations fail in the way that they handled um, information, news, accusations, and they did the same thing. Instead of taking accountability, instead of addressing it head on, instead of being proactive, instead of asking for assistance and programs and investment, they have done the same thing. Deny, 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 deflect, deflect, deflect. And now parents are looking at seriously pulling their children out of Chandler School District.